Welcome back. UA Arizona Repertoire Theater is presenting a timeless, romantic, and beautiful production of William Shakespeare's Twelfth Night. But above all else, it's actually hilarious. Vanessa Vidato and Casey Caruso are here to tell us all about it. You guys, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. If somebody doesn't know by chance, Vanessa, kind of tell me what the show is about. Yeah, so it's about people trying to find their other halves um, unintentionally. Uh, it starts off with two siblings and their twins, a girl named Viola and a brother named Sebastian. They're split at sea after a shipwreck and they land on an island not knowing that they've both landed there safely. Um, Viola ends up cross-dressing as a male and works for the Duke Orsino who lives on the island Illyria. And in disguise, she is supposed to go over to Olivia who also lives on the island, um, a woman who has lost her father and brother um, and her job, Viola's job, is to woo Olivia into falling in love with the Duke. Okay. And from there, things unravel. Well, I can see where the hilarious part can come yeah. into all of that. But I know you're saying find your, your match, but is there kind of a love triangle thing going on? So Olivia ends up falling for Viola, which is Cesario, is Viola's disguise right. name. And then Viola falls in love with the Duke. Oh. So. That's asking for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So who do you each play? Who are your characters? I play Olivia. You're and, Olivia. And I play Sir Toby Belch. Sir Toby Belch. Does yes. the uh, mustache go along with this character? It does. That's what I, I grew it out for. <laughs> so. For the character? Yes, but sir. you also kind of get a little uh, hands-on with a guitar. Don't we have a picture of you? Right. What is What is this all about? So uh, that is the crew, as we call it. And uh, we're rocking out right there. <laughs> we're uh, we're in. Uh, I am living in Olivia's basement. Olivia is my aunt, and uh, we're rocking out. We we're the ones who cause all the mischief in the play, and uh, we're we're the clowns pretty much. We we make people laugh at Can us. Can I tell you so. that shot is pretty amazing? It it looks a lot cooler than it is. It looks like oh. I'm jumping like 20 <laughs> feet in the air, but I'm really like just barely off the ground. No, photographer. But don't say that. It's more awesome. Than I mean, the yeah, it's way cool. It. Yeah, I, that's me. That's all me. I'm well, the storyline, the fact that we've got that awesome picture of you with the mm -hmm. guitar. I think this is already breaking down the fact that some people maybe think Shakespeare is a little intimidating. Maybe the language is a little something that they can't kind of keep up with. What would you say to somebody that feels that way? Well, what I would say is that it's it's really not. I used yeah. to think that it was. I used to think that it was, but it's really just our language, and you totally understand it, especially the way we that we've staged it. Our director's done a great job of staging it and really just making it be understood by all audiences. Yeah, I think the first Shakespeare play I saw was here at the ART. Oh. Um, it was Midsummer's Night's Dream. Yeah. It is, it does take a little while to fine tune your ear yeah. to the rhythm and the structure of Shakespeare's yeah. writing. So I think the best way is to expose yourself to reading his plays and to oh. seeing more shows because it does, it does take a while. And we're in a training program which helps us break down and understand Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. And then to be able to regurgitate it back to us in right. a way that we can kind of it. feel it mm -hmm. as well. And I did notice we were looking, flipping through a few more of those pictures, mm -hmm. but I saw that you have tattoos in this picture, but I don't see any on your arms right now. So I'm assuming these are fake? They, they're actually real and I'm wearing makeup right now. <laughs> it's the opposite. Cover it up. Uh, no, they are fake. They're, they're tattoo sleeves that I wear and they look real when I'm on stage. Yeah. And it makes me feel a lot cooler. <laughs> when you're in the costumes, uh, I can speak for both of us, uh, when you're in the costumes, yeah. it just like makes you feel so much more like a character. And uh, it's, it's really great. I, I feel so much cooler than I am in real life. I love this. You, this play is really kind of take your cool level uh, up. It's a like way. <laughs> it's it's good for. That's what I'm gathering from this whole so, interview. Is, yes, is that's, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> well, I'm curious. I know I'm going to tell everybody about this play and how they can come and watch. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. beyond this, I know you guys are kind of will soon be wrapping up at your time here uh, at U of A. Where are you guys planning on going? Yeah. Uh, I'm just hoping to venture out into California and see oh. what there's what's there to offer me. Over yeah. There, so. Yeah. I'll probably also end up in Southern California. Uh, I just want to be a working actor somehow yeah. uh, in the business. And uh, our program does a really great job of getting us out into the world yeah. and uh, yeah, really like catapulting us out in 
and getting us, letting us know agents yeah. and casting directors. And That's awesome. Yeah. So you can feel cool all the time. I, like yeah, I'll be, eventually here. I'll feel cool, you know, <laughs> just from getting roles though. Tattoos, so. jumping up with a guitar, you want to feel cool 24-7. Yes. I, I get it, I, I get it. Well, well I'm going to remind everyone when this is playing how they yeah. can come and see you guys, but thank you so much for yeah, stopping thank in. Thank you so Absolutely, much. thanks for having me. Oh, that was great. Now you can catch all the antics of Twelfth Night now through April 2nd at U of A's uh, Moroni Theater. As a special offer though for viewers, you can get two tickets for the price of one by using the code BOGO on the theater.arizona.edu. To learn more, go to or give them a call at 621-1162.